Good noon to you all. Let us begin our prayer with hymn number 479. We'll sing three verses for opening of Lord, who out these 40 days for opening will sing three verses of number 479. Lord, who throughout these forty days for us did fast and pray, teach us to overcome our sin and close by you to stay. As you with Satan did contend and did the victory win, oh, give us strength in you to fight, in you to conquer sin. As you did hunger and did thirst, so teach us, gracious Lord, to die to self and only live by your most holy In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. We offer this Mass for Rick Phillips. And with the whole ch church, we remember Saint Joseph, the earthly father of Jesus. Let us begin turning in mind and heart to God. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin. Bring us to life, life everlasting. Amen. And let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by St. Joseph's intercession, your church may constantly watch over the unfolding of the mysteries of human salvation, whose beginnings you entrusted to his faithful care. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. The Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go, tell my servant David, when your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your heir after you, sprung from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. 
It is he who shall build a house for my name, and I will make his royal throne firm forever. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The son of David will live forever. The son of David will live forever. The promises of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, my kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Son, live forever. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David my servant, Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. The son of David will live forever. He shall say of me, you are my father, my God, the rock, my savior. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him and my covenant with him stands firm. The son of David will live forever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, it was not through the law that the promise was made to Abraham and his, his descendants that he would inherit the world, but through the righteousness that comes from faith. For this reason, it depends on faith so that it may be a gift and the promise may be guaranteed to all his descendants, not to those who only adhere to the law, but to those who follow the faith of Abraham, who is the father of uh, all of us, as it is written, I have made you father of many nations. He is our father in the sight of God, in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead and calls into being what does not exist. He believed, hoping against hope, that he would become the father of many nations, according to what was said, thus shall your descendants be. That is why it was credited to him as righteousness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. We read from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jacob was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. Now this is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, 
Do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. It is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took his wife into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. The Feast of St. Joseph, the Feast of the Patron of the Diocese of La Crosse. Our cathedral is the St. Joseph the Workman Cathedral. I think that's why today we received this letter from Bishop Callahan. I don't know if you're up on your news, but about an hour and a half ago, big announcements were made in La Crosse. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, may the Lord give you peace. I write to inform you that at 10.30 today, a press conference will be held at the Holy Cross Diocesan Center to announce that His Holiness, Pope Francis, has accepted my resignation from the office of Bishop of La Crosse. As you are all aware, the past year has been difficult for me as a result of several health issues. I have enjoyed my time with all of you in my service to the diocese and extend my gratitude for your support while I served as your bishop. I will be maintaining a residence at the diocesan center and hope to assist in some way as I continue as your emeritus bishop. It is with joy that I also share with you that at the same press conference, it will be announced that the Holy Father has appointed as my successor Bishop Gerard W. Battersby. Bishop Batterby, Battersby was born on the 15th of May in 1960. He was ordained as bishop and associate bishop of the Diocese of Detroit in 2017. On May 20th, of this year, Bishop Battersby will be installed as the 11th Bishop of the Diocese of La Crosse. I extend an invitation to you should you wish to join us either in person or via live stream for the press conference. It will begin at 10.30 today. With personal good wishes and prayers, I am very truly yours in Christ, Bishop Callahan. I am upset. I was just at my priest support group, which is like being at the root of the grapevine of gossip in the diocese, and nobody heard or knew that this was coming. So, complete surprise this morning. I would just make one observation about this. I think the bishop's decision moves us on our Lenten journey towards the real presence of Christ. Bishop Callahan is 72 years old. The normal retirement is 75. He could have dragged on, I'm not letting go of this place. I'm not letting go of this role. I'm not letting go. I'm going to die in my boots. There have been pastors and bishops who have done so. And, uh, but no, maybe like Pope Benedict, he, he's thought differently. I'm sure it went something like, 
I love being a bishop. I love being a bishop in the Diocese of La Crosse. I would like to do this as long as I can. But for the good of my child, for the good of the people of the Diocese of La Crosse, they need somebody able to, to do the work to, to provide the leadership that they need. And so as I think of them first, I, it's clear to me that I need to step down that someone else with the energy and strength can take the chair of bishop in our diocese. This comes at a perfect time, I think. Just on Sunday, I preached about a, a mother who gave birth to her child and, and said, I've discovered why I'm born. I'm here to lay down my life for this child. That's my purpose in life. I'll bet you there were a lot of fathers in the church saying, well, that's a recipe for disaster. Maybe you two were in a good cop, bad cop relationship where, where she said, we've, we've got to do more for this child. And he said, enough is enough. We, we, we've got to lay down ourselves. Or we've got to lay down the law in this house. Uh, well, we've got to show this child some, some firmness and some good boundaries. We, we've got to show this child how to be compassionate and understanding. Well, the, the, the two sides of the coin. Maybe in marriage can be kept balanced by having two, but what, what about yourself as an individual person? You know, this laying down is the way we're healed and strengthened and made whole can, can, can be understood in an unhealthy way. I'm just a doormat. I don't have any values or respect for myself. I'll just let people do whatever they want with me. That, that, that somehow goes too far. And I, I, I like, we could trace it in the gospel today and St. Joseph, but I like Bishop Callahan's example. He, he kept his eyes on the purpose for this all, and, and that's the child, that's the church, that's the work of God in this world. And just as a, I'm sure a mother says, well, I want to lay my life down for my children, but for my children to have a haggard, crabby, miserable, sickly woman as their mother, that, well, that's not really helping them. Whereas to model being balanced living a happy life, having interests of my own, hobbies I enjoy, that, that that is doing what's really best for my children as well. So in this laying down, this giving, if we truly keep our eyes on that child and wanting to love them, make sure they have every good thing, we would also take care of ourselves in the process. Amen. Let us stand and pray. Heavenly Father, we pray that this handing on of the crozier will allow Bishop Callahan to restore his strength and have many, many happy and good years yet ahead in this world. For Bishop Callahan, we pray to you, Lord. Lord Father, for Bishop Gerard W. Battersby, we pray that he is just the right bishop for us and we are just the right place for him to have his first role as head bishop in a diocese. May there be many happy, fruitful years ahead for the Diocese of La Crosse. We pray to you, Lord. Lord and Lord, we pray for the wisdom to know how to truly love in a way that preserves our well-being as well. We pray to you, Lord. Is there anything else we should pray for this day? Pray 
Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray that our Holy Week celebrations here and in every church will be a time of great growth and healing that your church might play ever more fully its role in this world. We pray to you, Lord. Lord hear Heavenly Father, we turn to the altar. We turn to you. May it be our healing, our salvation. We come to you through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Through the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord. God of all creation, through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Lord, be pleased with the gifts we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. And in these mysteries, wash away our iniquity. Cleanse us of all our sin. Sisters and brothers, pray that your sacrifices and mine 
will be acceptable to our Almighty God. Amen. We pray, O Lord, that just as Saint Joseph served with loving care your only begotten Son, born of the Virgin Mary, so may we be worthy to minister with a pure heart at your altar. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your heart. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to always and everywhere give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and on the solemnity of Saint Joseph to give you fitting praise to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as spouse to the Virgin Mother of God, and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household to watch like a father over your only begotten son who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you, heaven and the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed. You, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they might become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice 
of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come in glory. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory, all honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Let us live in your peace. By the help of your mercy, may we be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Lord, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Lord, look not on our sin, see the faith of your church and grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of Christ be with you always. Thank you. Let us turn and strengthen that peace in our neighbor's heart.
Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed those called to share in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only you say the word. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Body of Christ, Lillian. It's a gluten free. Can you take it out yourself? The body of Christ. Body of Christ on me. Body of Christ passed. Body of Christ, Stephen. Body of Christ, Joanne. Body of Christ, you see. Body of Christ, Paula. Body of Christ. Body of Christ, Joanne. Body of Christ.
and let us pray. Defend with unfailing protection, O Lord, we pray, the family you have nourished with food from this altar, as we rejoice at the solemnity of St. Joseph and graciously keep safe your gifts among us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon us all and remain with us forever. Amen. Our celebration here is ended. Let us go in peace. And let us close with verses 4 and 5 of number 479. And through these days of penitence and through your passion tide forevermore in life and death, O Lord, with us abide. Abide with us that when this life of suffering is past, and Easter 